Good morning everybody. Welcome to day three of the bison hunt. My comrades with me today. Grandpa Rabbit over here. And my son Malin in the back. So we got three generations gonna go out and look for a bison today. We're letting a little light get on the refuge uh, here. Cause I can see we're gonna drive through a bunch of elk and we, we wanna see elk horns if we get the chance for fun. So uh, maybe we'll see some bulls. There's a whole bunch of elk on this side of the refuge that nobody really gets to see because the road's blocked just right up here. There's a few thousand elk out here. And then uh, we want to be able to glass up on the hills and look at all the other bulls and it's just fun. So that we got a special pass. Yeah, we got the pass, so we want to make good use of it. We get to go where the public doesn't get to go. So yeah, day three, our first two days, no bison. Um, we're hoping just to get lucky right now and maybe catch one if we're lucky. Rest of bison, they're still north, still north, several miles up. And uh, we need more snow here. There's just a lot of grass still showing on the refuge. And uh, need more snow. A little bit coming tomorrow, but probably not enough to move them. So yeah, should be fun. Three of us out there on our bikes, looking around, having a good time. We're gonna have some beautiful sunrise here. It's a little clear out here this morning. I'll give you guys, turn it around here and give a little view of what the refuge looks like right now. Early morning, what is it, 7.30, so here we go. There's a pile of elk just right out through there. degrees which will be just just fine okay Nothing like listening to 4,000 four elk. Yeah, there's bulls around. I can't see the bulls. There must be little bulls out there. Oh, I can see there's some spikes. Yeah, I think there's little bulls. All the big bulls are still over here on this mountainside. We've spotted them the last few days and they're just lined up up there. Bull. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Get out the road. Come on, guys. A little spike in the middle of the road here. I know. They all think they got a cross in front here. And this is a hundreds century year old tradition for these elk to come down in here and get into this area during the Wyoming winters seeking refuge out of the snow there's a little three-pointer there Chase each other, nip at each other. There's so many running, I could hear the snow crunching. I 
can actually hear the, their footsteps in the snow. There. Like, hey, how do we cross now? <laughs> All right. So you guys should be paying me for this tour guide here. There's not too many people that get to come out here and see 4,000 L like this. Now, how much money you got on you, Malin? I gotta drop you off. No. <coughs> <laughs> Well, come on, man. Good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah, this one's not plowed as well as the other road. Good job, bud. Brakes. There you go. Yeah. The other one's quite a bit more plowed than this one. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll check this out. It's supposed to make that loop around up there, so I hope it's can make it. It's a little muscle. There you go. Good. See? Good job. No. Hey, you're fine, bud. I don't like that. Malin, if you tip over, you're just going in the snow. What? If you tip over, you're just falling in snow. This road's a little bit harder than the other one, but don't be scared. I don't like it. I wanna... You could do it. Maybe you should follow behind me. I might be making a bigger track for you. It doesn't work. I just crashed. You gotta keep your throttle going. And you gotta make sure you steal good. You wanna go in front of me? No. And I could go behind you. Would you like to go in front? May we're out here, buddy. Scary. It's not scary. Okay. Why don't you come in front of me so I can watch you? Push it up here in front of me. Yeah, I think if you're behind me, I'm making a little bit of a wider track too. Why don't you come in behind me? Get your wheels over. This snow's not too bad. And actually, if you tip into this snow, it's not bad. And that's why you got that step through bike, so you don't crash. You can just step don't forget, if you get a little wobbly, let go of the throttle and just stop. Catch yourself, and then just go again. You almost don't even have to use brakes, really. Don't even think about it. You just stay in the ruts. Stay behind me, okay? Let's give it another little go, and I'll check in with you, okay? Ready? Come on, bud. All right, so our first road was a little bit of a bust, but Maitland did good. We found out though it's a little tough to ride and it came to a dead end. I'm not sure if we were, I think we were off on a different side road, not the one we wanted to be on. But that's all right, we're running out of time today. We're gonna hit one of the easier roads, especially for Maitland. So we're gonna get the bikes unloaded back out of the truck here with Gramps, Gramps big muscles. That first road wore me out. Neilan, did you crash on that last road? How many times? Ten? I didn't see you crash that many times. Yeah, you'll see it on your camera. <laughs> you'll see it on the camera.
Cruise, buddy, cruise, cruise, coming up. Woohoo! Go. Don't come in the left lane. Okay, I'll come back in front of you. Look at that herd of elk. Heard of elk out there. Some elk on top of that ridge. Glass a... How'd you get into my lane? It just kind of kicked me over. <laughs> That's why it's not safe to maybe be beside each other, like when I almost ran over Brazier. Don't waste your battery, you walk out of here. Ice poles right back there. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. Well, that lead cow needs shot. Yeah. Nice bull, and there's, look at those two bulls. Why does it, why does it need shot? Because they could have just stayed there, or gone over to the top. Uh, on the ridge up here to your left. Yeah, there. Good grief, there's a nice ball coming in the middle. And those two are like, what? What are we doing? I mean, they're wasting their fat storages. Let them pass so we don't, maybe they won't just keep running forever. So we're just getting to the top of this hill here where we've been the last few days with my buddy Phil and Brazier and we were just right here stopped for a second and man we heard two gunshots like this direction over here so I don't want to keep moving right now my bike power's draining Rick and Malin went down here to a little knob that kind of looks down into uh, the Grovant River Valley there and they're looking around don't know why there'd be two gunshots in here, but it was plain as day. It was gunshots. And I don't think there's any other season going. So I'll look around a little bit before we turn around here. We just uh, don't have the power to get down this river bottom today. But it'll be interesting. See if that was something. It'd be pretty cool if there was. But there's no bison staging. There's no bison around the outskirts that I know of. So, uh... Yeah, not sure. Malin is just doing awesome. He is riding, man. This is gonna be something he's gonna remember for a long time, long time. A lot of fun. Another nice morning, a little overcast. 
beautiful day. Whew. Well, we finished our ride and our glassing and uh, no bison. So we heard those shots up in there. Be curious to see what that might have been if we find out there was a bison in here. Dang it, we'll find out. I'll call fish and game. But we're gonna head out, head, we're heading home. So hope the video is entertaining. Thank you for watching. Malin did good. He got out there, he got back. He's not feeling that well though. Gramps made it. My bike died a little. Really? A little ways out here from the truck though, and so he had to do a little pushing on my bike. It's heavy. It's a lot um, easier riding them than pushing them. Yeah, a lot easier to ride. Well, it feels weird when I get back on your little skinny bike and ride it compared to mine though. Yeah. Like I start riding yours, I'm like, whoa. Doesn't feel like I'm steady where that big one, I feel really steady now. So anyways, okay. Thank you for watching. Hit some notification buttons and see the next episodes of the Bison Hunt. Talk to you later.